Ah, oh, the Mojave app. Uh, hang on. Ah, oh, the Mojave Outpost. I think I may have wounded Lacey. <laughs> hey there. Did you see how I came in and shot the radio? Like your only form of entertainment. Shut up, I wasn't talking to you. Your only form of entertainment. Boy, I bet you're so impressed with me, huh? Big strong man. Looking for trouble? No, no, just looking around. Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised you can see me from that deep in the bottle. Deep? Ain't deep by half. Closed down the bar yesterday, gonna close it again today. Rinse and repeat. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Damn Don't worry. Not looking to throw punches just yet. And something tells me hitting you would be a mistake I wouldn't want to repeat. Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo. They just burned that too. Probably fiends. They're crazy. Yeah, they're not too bright. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line. And the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a Brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Well, we already cleared the roads out for Jackson. What more does he want? No shit. <laughs> Drinks on me, then. Still, not like I'm going anywhere. Caravan title's still keeping me here, even though it's dead and gone. You mentioned the Crimson Caravan. They sent us. Yeah, they want me to buy out your caravan. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Yes. Don't they know it's burned to ash? <laughs> Probably not. No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. You haven't seen what they have to offer, though. Yeah, look at all these zeros on here. Two. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? It's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. What, you're just gonna keep this crappy caravan that's burned to the ground? Yeah, I will. And you sure as hell aren't taking it. Can't believe I was even listening to you. What? Well, it's Ash! Staying here's not gonna be any better, is it? I got a bar, men who don't say a word, and plenty of whiskey. I'm fine. They say lots of words, mostly about the weather. I wasn't gonna offer you any money. I wanted to drink for it. You challenging me? Serious now. All right, you come here armed with whiskey. We'll make a sport of it. Here's a dozen bottles. Let's do this. I already got a head start, but I'll go first anyway. As long as you don't share the same bottle. Don't want your cooties. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Be my guest. Well, guess you're a little tougher than I thought. Still looks like you're feeling it, eh, Slick? When I met you, I thought you were the biggest bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're not even a part of this. Why are you drinking? I'm drinking recreationally. <laughs> I totally love you and your little hat. Aw, now ain't that sweet. You know, you put up a good fight. I'm impressed. Thing is, I really just wanted an excuse to drink. Should last me for a while. Might just be the whiskey talking, but... I think I might feel a whole lot better leaving the caravan business behind me. Makes me a little teary-eyed, but... Now I've got a bottle to put him in. Hand over that paper. I'll put my name to it. Hey Lacey, have your eyes always been this beautiful? Mike, no. Oh, you're right. Lacey, when I met you, I thought you were the biggest bitch! I said <laughs> So what do you need to do now? No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Hey, you could come with us. We can put other things between your legs. Yeah, you can come with me. Mike already has his girlfriend, so I'm free. <laughs> Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? Fine, stay here. Don't need you. Getting in between me and Zach. What's your face from the Beatles? Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. You'd be surprised. All right. 
I'm in. All right, we can stop pretending to be drunk. We got Cass. All this traveling's making me thirsty. Man, this place is a dump. Clean it up, Lacey. Yeah, wow. Look what happened. <laughs> Don't make a fool of yourself. Don't I have to do something stupid so she'll be impressed. Uh, maybe you could ask what her opinions are about the Legion and the NCR. God, what are your opinions about the Legion and NCR? Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, I was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. So where is this exactly? <sighs> Upside of Vegas, here, Tal. Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. So the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Or scavenged by raiders. At the least, I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. Alright, well, let's go. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. Dibs. I guess Mike called Dibs. You heard him. All right, then. Oh, she respects the rules of Dibs. Good to I see. I mean, you. all reasonable people do. Still trying to figure out what to get Marjorie for Christmas. Unfortunately, psychiatric help is not an option. <laughs> well, that depends on how far you're willing to go. I'm sure there's a cam that'll fix her up just as good as any shrink. Are you suggesting I get my daughter, my pride and joy, hooked on drugs? I'd say if there was a line, you just crossed it. Michael. The day we met, I hit on your wife, killed your Brahmin, and got you so drunk you nearly shot your little girl while she was still in your balls. If you had a line, we wouldn't be friends. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Oh, I guess they're done. Oh shit, you guys took the only attractive woman. <laughs> right, now I have to talk to Lacey. Before we return to Alice to let her know about the caravan buyout... Uh, we can help out our friend Cass here. Our new friend Cass. Our new friend Cass. That's that's her name, all right. Yes. Sorry, I'm kind of excited. Uh, you any good in a fight? I'm fair with chucking dynamite. Not bad with a pistol, if I do say so myself. Carry a knife too, but that's more for practical reasons. Prefer settling things with my fists, though. Made more friends than corpses in bar fights. Plan on keeping it that way. Don't think I'm some kind of vault city pacifist, though. If things get heated, I'll start shooting. Ugh. Trust me. Vault City. That place sucked. I've never been there. You're not missing out. Well, where'd you learn to shoot? Short of caps is what taught me mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot, so I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. You never answered our earlier questions. What do you think of the NCR? NCR's my country. And I support it. Anyone who says otherwise, I'll feed them my knee. I know which side of the firing line I'm on in the Mojave. Just so you know. You can't support it unquestionably. They've got their drawbacks, right? I'm not some blind, flag-saluting, do-as-they-will NCR lover. They're family. But let me tell you what family means. You ever had a brother? Some dumbass younger brother, say, who knocked up the pastor's daughter... Can't hold a job and his home away is a jail cell? Mm. That's NCR. Mm. Their compass is spinning all the time. Yeah, you still stand by them, even if they lack direction, right? They try to put their stake in everything they see. Nobody's dick's that long. Not even Long Dick Johnson, and he had a fucking long dick. <laughs> Thus the name. I got that part. Thank you. So NCR tries to hold on to everything. Yeah. They can't. Because it's too big for them to get their arms around. They can't guard the roads. They can't put a line of troops around the Mojave. It's just greed that makes the heads back west even try. So everything suffers, including the Mojave. Aside from the people in the towns, it's the soldiers that suffer for it most. Well, yeah. Ever seen NCR troops asked to go after gangs at three to one odds? Not that bear flag doesn't make them bulletproof. And when those gangs were caused by NCR in the first place... Like the powder gangers? Hmm. Yeah. Caesar on a crutch. Don't get me started there. So what's the alternative then? Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't want the Brotherhood or the followers or the Vegas families running the Mojave. All of them are a different kind of fuck up. NCR just has some shaping up to do. Maybe Caesar kicking them in the nuts is a nice wake-up call, is all I'm saying. 
I just wish Caesar would kick the heads of NCR, not the feet. I've fucked a soldier in my time. Hmm? They don't need to get fucked by their orders. So then I guess that means you love the Legion, huh? Yin cannot exist without Yang, yes? I don't trade caps or supply anyone who keeps slaves and treats women like Brahmin in those camps of theirs. Damn straight! Yeah, they're not great people. Look, not meaning to fly off the handle like that. There's some caravans that deal with the Legion, yes. And as much as it pains me to say it, any caravan marked by the Legion is safe as houses. Safe as houses? They guard their roads, their supply lines. Even fiends would hesitate before going after any traitor dealing with Legion. So, you sound frustrated. I am. If NCR took the same stand and committed patrols to the roads, then I'd think that'd solve a lot of their problems right there. But they don't. Caravans get butchered in the Mojave all the time, like mine. Yes. And so fucking close to Vegas, you could see it from the wall. I mean, there must be good parts. NCR tries. It's just that trying doesn't mean a whole lot when you're paying your respects to the dead. Much as I hate the Legion, caravan life would be a hell of a lot easier if they ran the roads. Some caravans deal with the Legion now because the security. If towns could get the same protection, a lot more tempting than you'd think. A bunch of people would be willing to side with the Legion to not have to worry about fiends and boomers and powder ganger attacks. It's not hard for some folks to sell freedom when the alternative is worse. Especially if being with NCR is going to get you on a Legion cross. Oh, you've opened my eyes. It seems like the Legion has more advantages than I would have suspected. No, less advantages. She, she just mentioned their advantages. I still don't like the Legion. I, neither do I, but maybe they're not as bad as I initially thought. Anyway, let's get going. All right, then. That burned-out Brahmin caravan isn't going to discover itself. Is this your caravan? I think this is it. Hmm. A drained small energy cell. People actually using laser weaponry? I know, right? That's weird. There's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was, was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. Mm. So close to the Vegas wall, too. Don't that beat all. Didn't put out their cigarette. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. Why would they have done it during the day? Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Laser weapon ammo. Yes, but it's... that's... You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back, and the caravan been burned too, along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake, and that other caravan got hit with energy weapons too. Do you want to go check it out? Yeah. It's a ways though. Hell of a detour. You sure? Yeah, sure, whatever. All right then, let's move out. What? Who was... Who Who's... <laughs> who's this? I'm curious what's going on over here. Hmm. Hello. Two legionaries and two s slaves? When the time comes, I'll be the one to kill you. Oh, pleasure to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Give me cause, profligate. Uh-huh. Attack me. Give me license to kill you. They're legionaries without their clothes on. Is this a hazing ritual for the new guys? I declare trial by combat! No. Let them find it out among themselves. Knock, <laughs> knock. I have death lasers. All right, that was weird. <laughs> Problem solved? Question mark? Preemptive counter-assassination. And so the caravan was walking along this route. And here's what's left of it. More energy weapons hit this caravan. <laughs> Mike, are you holding her hostage? The place has been picked clean. This is Brotherhood-level murder here. But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. A tin can! Aha! Uh -huh. What's that? Looks like a map. No, no, it's a tin can. Got the route along the west of Vegas, and they've marked another spot. Over here, along this stretch. That's fucked up. 
middle of nowhere. Do you think they're going to hit that spot soon? Let's go check it out. Yeah. All right, then. Let's move out. And I said, that's not a turkey, that's my wife! Another caravan burned. Except someone made camp here. And I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks. It's probably the dead body. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're too late. They got to this one before we could stop them. Um... <clears throat> Van Graf Thug. Oh no, they attacked a Van Graf Thug who had been hired for protection? That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. Whoa, hold up. Where you get Crimson Caravan from? Sounds like Cass wants to murder a few people. I guess they did wrong her, so it's justified. Don't care much for which one we kill first. Whether settling accounts with Mick Lafferty or making that bitch Gloria eat her hair. The Van Graffs are gonna be tougher so we'll likely get killed there. If we go to the Crimson Caravan camp, we'll just need a lot of bullets. Still, we give the Van Graffs a what for? That means all those guns they used on my caravan, we can take and use on the Crimson Caravan. I, well, yeah, but I have all these guns from the gun runners <laughs> That's that true. we can use. We don't have to get into a violent bloodbath. We can handle this with clever tactics. You should try them sometime. Why don't we head to the Silver Rush first? I hear they have an opening for a door guard, and I think there is no one better suited to protect them. But we're trying to kill them all. Yes, that's why we're gaining their trust first. No, it's Corn Man. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? <laughs> the king says to keep up the good work, and said to give you this. Thank you, 19 bottle caps. We can buy the corn ourselves. Come on now, the Atomic Wrangler, we got... Uh, we got dogs filled with cats. What? Uh, we put cats inside of dogs. N not today, sir. No, thank you. <laughs> the Silver Rush, what a lovely place. Morning. Morning! I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. You're worried we'd attack your employers? Oh, perish the thought. There is no reason we would ever do that. But we will comply, sure. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Oh boy, can't wait to re-hotkey those. Yeah. The bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Ah, uh, we're interrupting a business deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Hey, what's going on down there? Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Jean-Baptiste, could you bring out the volunteer? Um, okay. Yeah, take your time, Jean. Neither are customers waiting or anything. Yeah, you know... We'll amuse ourselves, don't worry. Ah! <laughs> so, you guys work here long? Uh, you know, a couple years. Good vacation time? What the hell is vacation time? The time that they pay you to not work every couple of days? What's not working? <laughs> Boy, I can tell I'm gonna love working here. Oh, someone's in trouble! Uh oh! This is a lesson, Mr. Soren. A lesson in faith. What is this, Miss Van Graff? I don't understand. Who is this man? What does this have to do with our deal? Everything. Up until recently, this man was an employee of mine. He's quite handsome, don't you think? Seven out of ten. I know I did. We became close. I warned him that I was a very jealous woman, and he said he understood. Apparently he didn't. Last week, I chanced upon him and Gamora being serviced by one of their two-cap whores. I was not pleased. Beatrix. I tell you all this because I want you to know that this man means a great deal to me. Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. 
Uh, <laughs> bye. Bye. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Okay. Can, can we buy guns now? Hello. Hi. Excuse me. Personal space is a thing. <laughs> I think he wet himself before he left. That was pretty good making up that part about sleeping with Jacob. You did make that part up, right? Glory? Damn it, girl. What has Mama always said about tipping the help? I thought this was about him stealing money from us. He was stealing money. Though he could have kept it for all I cared. God knows he earned it. We saw how well you killed that guy with your energy weapons. Who says energy weapons are a garbage tool? Everyone Ooh. loves using energy weapons, and we want to work for a place that uses energy weapons. We want a cut of the action. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Well, step one, you could get some more hair, because we want to make you eat it. Got any work? It just so happens a position opened up recently. <laughs> we currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Oh, of course. Count me in. Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Okie dokie. Yeah, you probably don't even need to have Simon because there's two of us. What are you looking at, jerk? Simon, you can go on break. Aw, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. How did you know? You can always tell a rookie. You look too eager. Get the job a few hours, and the shine will come right off. <laughs> look at you using a laser rifle. Never thought I'd see the day. I know, right? It's, I feel weird. Here comes a winner. I'll let you handle this one. Don't shoot him. <laughs> I know you're tempted to. Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? I can't handle recoil, and that's why I choose laser weapons. So go on in and get yourself a pair! One for you and your lady friend! Yeah! Who I'm sure you have, maybe two, you stud you! Or your man friend, I'm not here to judge. Great. I've been wanting to get a laser gun for a while now. Cool. We're supposed to pat everyone down. Didn't you hear that part of my instructions? Yes, we heard you, but yeah. you're, gonna, you're gonna lose business turning people away. Another one coming. You're on. Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? Sure, he head on in, sir. Thanks a bunch. Were you even listening when I said what you're supposed to do? What? No. Yeah, I was listening. Howdy. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? You go on in, sir. Thank you kindly. It's almost like I never said anything at all. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm telling you, Simon, you keep turning people away for no reason. They want to spend money. Let them. If we're going to get customers, we need to start drawing in some attention. Time to fire off a laser show. Woo! Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? Uh, no one will stop you. Thanks. I've come a long way. You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Yeah. Ow! Ow! Oh my god, that was way more explosives than I thought! Whew, man. Oh, I guess a gas main just burst. After 200 years, it makes sense. Poor maintenance, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, yes. They're all dead. Guy must have had some kind of explosive on him. Set off all the ordnance in this place at once. Congratulations, rookie. You just cost me my job. Don't think I don't appreciate it. So you're a free agent now, huh? <laughs> I could use some help. God, these guns suck. <laughs> Just trim the Van Graaff family tree. I think Freeside will breathe a little easier now. On to settle accounts with Alice McLafferty. Putting her down, that would suit me just fine. Before we go in there, guns a-blazing, backs to the wall, taking on the entire Crimson Caravan just to take out one person. I don't think the NCR is going to be too happy about it either. I I've got a plan. A devious ploy. Music to my ears. Alice! We went back to the Gunrunners for a second time, and we successfully swiped a couple of weapons, including this one. Give it a try. <laughs> Who's McLafferting now? And that's it for the Crimson Caravan. Payback's a bitch, ladies. And between Gloria and Alice... 
That settles accounts, as far as I'm concerned. Hell yeah! Hope they're in hell right now. Blinking, trying to figure out where they fucked up. <laughs> you gonna be alright? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Never realized I had all that anger in me. Makes me wonder how much more I can settle with bullets. You know, when I first heard about them, I was so mad. But there was this little part of me that said, you can't do to them what they did to you. I say fuck that part. <laughs> yeah! I feel purified. Not many people in my company would have done what you did for me without some hesitation or asking me to cool down. Ah, but you backed me. You. Even when the odds were against us. Words aren't enough, but thanks. Anything to put your mind at ease, Cass. I'm hoping we can become good friends, the three of us. Mike's not involved, just you and me. Not saying we have to double team her. I'm saying we can be friends. You're not allowed to. Jeez. Feel more alive than I ever have. Gas has got bonus damage. Bonus damage with guns. <laughs> Damn. Damn! <laughs> Cass is the best. You know, that entire time we were in there, I had a gun that I got at Gunrunners that I just kind of grabbed on a whim, and I never used it. What's it called? Uh, it's called Useless Gun. Hmm. What does it do? Well, it looks like the barrel's pointing backwards. Well, that doesn't make sense. 